Hey everyone, okay, so today I'm gonna to be giving you my favorites from March. This is complexion only. Look how pink my ears are. Extraordinary. Okay, but before we get started, if I have my dates right, I think my brand new Radiance Boosting Face Palette is released today. I'm almost certain it is. Anyway, I'll leave a description down there because it is truly epic. Okay, let's do favorites. So, favorites this month. Let's make a start. The first one, I'm just gonna do it randomly. The first one is this one by Kate Somerville. It is the Uncomplicated SPF. It is a soft focus makeup setting spray with an SPF of 50, 50. I don't know if I said 30, but it's an SPF of 50. And you spray this all over your face to set your makeup. It shouldn't be used um, in exclusion of your normal sunscreen, but then afterwards or throughout the day, it does leave a really pretty sheen um, on the skin. You've got to give it a bit of a shake and then just give it a little, a little whiz. But it is really, really, really good. Quite a whiff to it, but I don't dislike it, but really, really good. One of my favorite products, truly favorite products, Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. I think it is absolutely epic, as in epic, epic, epic. Beautiful finish on the skin, very lightweight, doesn't cover huge amounts of problems, but then you can use the secret camouflage, which we're gonna talk about now by Laura Mercier. Look at it focusing on my eye. I know, but they want to focus on this, stupid. This is a great product. It's double-ended, and who doesn't love a double-ender? I know I do, all the time. Here it is, okay, so there it is, beautiful. One end is for brightening, one end is for camouflaging on the face. Use it with a foundation or, of course, the Epic Tinted Moisturizer by Laura Mercier, and you're covered. I've done a video on this using it all over my face, and it is wonderful. On a cheaper side of things, if you're looking for a tinted moisturizer with a bit more coverage, e.l.f. CC Cream. It's really, really good. It offers a great amount of coverage. It has an SPF of 30. It's got a great kind of squeezy, kind of, you know, that kind of squeezy, pushy thing. So you can get the right amount of product out, but it's really, really good. I mean, for that price point, you know, it's epic. If you want to spend a little more money on just generally gorgeous things, well, you could do a lot worse than this. This is Shiseido, and this is the Power Infusing Concentrate. It's got some form of technology called image generation technology. I don't know what that means, but I like it. Here it is. It is this gorgeous glass bottle here, and the bottle alone will just look, is, you know, it is, I know it's ridiculous, but I do love a bit of packaging. This beautiful, slightly, what's the word? I think you know, slightly liquidy texture, but goes on the skin, and oh my God, it does make the skin feel so extraordinary. I can't talk about the results too much because I'm only a couple of weeks into using this, but it does make the skin feel so good. So, oh, it is such a beautiful product. I'm gonna to talk to you about a really good product in a second as well. Let's go back to um, other just glorious things. And this, these are these new blushes from NARS. They're these beautiful little pots and they are the Air Matte Blush. And this one's called Scandalous. Mm. And what's really nice is these are technically matte apart from Orgasm, which has a, a fraction of a shimmer in it. And they go on like this kind of mousse. And you can see how bright that color is in here. But on the skin, when you start to blend it, they shear out into virtually a stain on the skin. And they're really, really pretty. There's, so that was Scandalous. I'm gonna show you Darling here which is this kind of peachy, pinky color, it may come off a bit stronger on camera than it is in real life. Hushed is so pretty. Hushed is this beige color, this sort of pinky beige, and it's really, really pretty on the skin. There's my eye again. Stop focusing on my eye. And you just blend it in and you get this really pretty, just this pretty, pretty stain on the skin. It's really nice. Did I pick up orgasm? I didn't. I don't know, I could do with one, that's for sure. Uh, this is Freedom. Lovely, look at that. Beautiful, just gorgeous pigments that blend like an absolute bloody dream. They're so pretty. 
Now my hands are filthy. Okay, so next one is a foundation. This is from Galan and it is L'Essentiel. Mm, it's French. There it is. Beautiful. Look at this. Oh, now it has the Galan scent to it, which you may or may not like. I don't dislike the scent. It doesn't bother me too much, but the finish of this product is so pretty. Let me just show you a tiny touch on the skin. I, you know, it's not even a word of a lie. I'd probably use about that much on my face. This stuff goes a really long way and it looks like skin. That's not my color, but it looks like skin. It blends in. And I'm probably gonna say that we are in April pretty much now. I'm probably gonna say this will become one of my favorite products of 2021 because it gives the most beautiful finish on the skin. It is worth every single penny. It really is. So serums I really, really like. And I'm a fussy bugger when it comes to stuff because I like to keep my skincare really simple. One active and one blending agent, whether it be a serum or a moisturizer or whatever. As you know, I'm working my way through the Shiseido one. Um, but this is why I come back to over and over again. Uh, by Aurelia, which you know I love. They make the best cleanser. Um, CBD Super Serum. It is an incredible, capitalizing on the CBD um, craze, this stuff is just so beautiful. It gives the skin this incredible luminosity and the serum isn't tacky, so it can be applied in the day or in the night and it doesn't pull or tug or peel with your makeup or skincare that goes goes on it, has pretty much zero scent. It is incredible. Aurelia makes some of the most beautiful products and they should get a lot more love than they do. If you're looking for a concealer, and I haven't tried, so I've tried this, but I'd never tried it before a couple of weeks ago. And everybody talks about it because apparently it's the holy grail of concealers. And it's by Clay de Poe and it is the concealer. And it's this, look at it. This innocuous concealer that gets some of the best reviews ever. And now I've played around with it and I've got a couple of them now. I can absolutely see why. So I love a concealer. Concealer as foundation normally. This stuff blends. You can't even see that. I mean, what was the point in that demonstration, Gossie? I don't know. So look, it's gonna pop that on the back of my hand here. So there it is. And this stuff blends in like nothing. And yet at the same time, it has this incredible amount of coverage on it. And it is so good. So with stick concealers, general consensus, personally speaking, is they are best suited to normal, to combination, to oily skin tones. But because most concealers, or most people I think use concealers under the eye, if you are drier, you may get away with it, but an eye cream is necessary. But this stuff is epic in terms of just, that kind of desirability factor. It is truly, truly beautiful. Um, another great serum is by Kiehl's, the Midnight Recovery Concentrate. Epic reviews on this. Loads of people love it, and I can absolutely see why. It is a replenishing elixir of pure essential oils, distilled botanicals, visibly restore the appearance of skin by morning. I know, a couple of drops does the world of good, and it really is just such a such a lovely serum. I mean, it really is an oil rather than a serum. And popping a tiny drop of oil into one's foundation can give the skin this incredible luminous quality. And then you would powder around the perimeter and leave certain areas just being shiny. Okay, so we're gonna save one of the best to last. And the reason I'm saving this last is because when I spoke to you about the Bada cream, that outrageously expensive cream that I would love to be able to afford to use permanently, but I can't. Um, what I loved about it was that my skin felt, when I was using it, incredibly plump and just joyful. And not plump from weight gain, but just plump because it just, it was this incredible plumpness to it. So Clinique just released the Moisture Surge 100 Hour Auto Replenishing Hydrator. So here it is. It will replenish your skin for up to 100 hours or something like that. Now, I can't talk about whether or not that's true or false because I really don't know. But what I can tell you is if you have dry skin, 
This is so good. If you use actives, this is so good. Either blended over, under, or with. This stuff makes one skin feel like silk. It has that same texture that all of that kind of um, product range has, where it's sort of this kind of jelly-like texture, but it makes the skin, let me put a tiny touch more on so you can see. I just want you to see this hand, okay? When it's on the skin, the skin looks like silk. I mean, it just looks like the, apart from all those veins, look how veiny I am. That's, that's quite veiny on this monitor here. I don't know if it's gonna show like that on camera, but it just makes the skin look like porcelain. It's just so incredible. You know that scene from, um, oh, Death Becomes Her where they, they put a, a drop of the potion on the hand and it's like, it's like that. It is so good, this product. So I'm, I'm, when I mention about that foundation being in, included in my top, I, this moisturizer is gonna go with that because for somebody that uses a lot of actives like myself, or one active anyway, um, that kind of moisture is very much needed. And that's it, that is it. That is my favorites of this month. I know, they're joyful and jolly and absolutely wonderful. Uh, let me know what you think of all of these. I'll leave links in the description bar below. Thank you for watching, you gorgeous creatures, and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.